What's up guys, BTBS here, welcome back to another episode of Terraria. As you can see, the you've never looked more pimp in your life. You're wearing full gold and purple. Although I'm just expecting oh, like Ranger. I'm just expecting like a feather cap with uh, a, a cap with a feather in it and then like a fur coat. I don't think they have them. Actually you can get the pimp's hat. The um the travelling merchants. Yeah. You can get their hat, I believe. Anyway, we are um, ready to have a lot of fun, and because we've heard certain things, we're gonna cheat. Yeah, that's uh, that shouldn't give you any indication of what this episode's about, except if you read the title, then you probably know what it's about. But we are gonna try and beat the pumpkin moon, but we have heard that it is unbeatable, like as if you cannot actually kill the final wave. So what we're gonna do is I have loaded the world onto a server. And you can see there we've been farming Duke Fisher on. Um, so I need to do time, and then I need to set it to 19 colon 20. And uh, 20. And if I do that, and now we can summon a pumpkin moon. And uh, they're here, by the way. Come on, metal down, you come. Yeah, I had a little bit as well. So I have a um, a like command application running for the server, and I've just written the uh, the time code in there. So I should be able to just change the time very quickly once it gets to early morning. And actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a summon potion so that I can have a second uh, Sharknado. So we've uh, we've got the standard potions. You've got the um, uh, rage, Wrath, Endurance, Life Force... Hello there, Mr. Metal Watcher. Hello. I notice you're not using your flail. <laughs> yeah, but the flail's just so much less, like, low maintenance. I love it. It's so cheaty. Oh, we've got a morning wood coming at some point in this wave. Oh, shit. Hello, there he is. Do -do 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 -do. So yeah, just aim slightly to the side of them. See how quickly he died? These things are incredibly powerful. Hello. And in fact, if you just stand in one direction and shoot them one way, they will attack stuff behind you as well. Yeah. Oh, hello. Didn't even notice he was over there. Um, I lost my fucking cursor. There it is. Right, I'm going to pick up some hearts. That's alright. Just uh, keep attacking them. You hear the sound of like the sound engine breaking because of all the bubbles. Static. It really does just sound like static. And I am gonna buff because I want these waves to go as quick as possible. So yeah, we've got all the normal potions and everything. We've got the life force potions now which give an extra hundred health at also this point. And Metal Mosher has Ichor potions, which inflict the Ichor debuff when you attack something, which reduces its defense. And because we're basically gonna be attacking the same stuff the whole time. Uh, we thought it better if we give him the Ichor and I'll take the summon potion so that I can summon more minions. Yeah, there is a- that's actually really rare at this point in the wave. Oh, we're on wave 9 already. Is it just me or have we been doing this for like a minute? Well, there's a Morningwood over here and he's basically dead. Now he is actually dead. We are getting extremely lucky with the uh, the bosses dropping their stuff. So yeah, we heard this is impossible. It is hell. So we want to try it. Just Who's? Drop 10k in like a second. Oh, the pumpkin. Yeah, um, he was on my screen for a second, and then I didn't see him, and then he died. That's what I love about these bubbles, man. Fire and forget. Yeah. Or you know, fire and forget fuck. Ah, there's a tree over here who I was not expecting. And all the while, my Sharknados are just going around attacking everything for us. See, that's a nice thing. The Sharknados will, like, stay on the floor and attack all the stuff down there while we kill off the bosses to progress the waves faster. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Kill the tree. And... Tree is dead. Good. I will take some health. No, I'm fine. I literally tapped down where a bunch of bosses had died and went from like 200 to 600. Oh, we've got a bunch of trees over here. Oh, you're already on them. Nice. 
So yeah, me and uh, another horseman blade. Nice. Oh, I've, yeah, did I've you got. Pick up those? I did, yeah. Yeah, I just picked up Nice. Yeah, me and Seraph did try this off camera, and I picked up 21 uh, pumpkin trophies. So, it's definitely. Like, there's definitely a lot going on, but I still don't think it's infinite. I, there's got to be a way of beating this. And all we have to do is keep an eye on how dark it is so that I can change it back to being. Uh, like night time again. Oh, uh, do you know the one bad thing about swapping out my uh, my glove? So I, w I was using that glove, and it gave me fire, and I could see m myself. Now I don't have fire, so in the darkness I can't see myself. <laughs> But my damage went up by like another 10% damage and like another 8% crit, which is huge, frankly. And my buffs still haven't run out yet. Uh, I don't even think we're halfway through, you know. Uh, I have noticed there is an entire army of headless horsemen. Yeah, if you get rid of those, it will literally just be bosses. Yeah. They don't spawn in the final wave. And the bosses are really easy to deal with. Oh, we'll bring out your cheaty vampire blades. Whoa, that's a lot of trees down there. Whoa, fire, fire, fire. Pumpkins. Oh yeah, sorry, I ran I literally ran past all those trees so they were just like, oh come on bruh, you know you wanna die. So I believe every boss we kill at this point will give us a um a drop. A drop, yeah. Like it's guaranteed to at least drop its trophy, I think, isn't it? Yeah. And it's like a fifteen percent chance of it dropping all its other uh, stuff. I've got a legendary horseman blade. Seriously? Yeah. You just pulled a ledge. Nice. Well, I've picked up a few uh, trophies and such. I'm gonna go and kill some trees because they're the only ones that are actually dangerous. Pumpkins can do some damage if there's a lot. Of them. Yeah, if there's a lot of them, the trees are dangerous on their own. Oh, come on, health sack! Whoa, I just flew right into like a meaty, um, not meteor storm, like um, asteroid belt is what it looked like. It looked like an asteroid belt of the uh, the fire from the trees. I did manage to dodge it without getting hurt, although that was ages ago from this point. Because it took me so long to... Man, there are so many trees down here, it's like there's a bush. It's like the ugliest home decoration ever. I think more of them just keep spawning, you know? Oh, uh, make sure you're buffed. Well then you know what to do. Don't come down here. Yeah, to be fair, the fire does get kind of everywhere, doesn't it? Oh, I need health. Let me just go and pick up these five trophies. Now you can't switch weapons fast. You've got to stop attacking. Yeah, you've got to stop attacking for a decent amount of time. Yeah. I'm going to play around with the horseman's blade a little bit. So, for the viewers out there who don't know, the horseman's blade is what the uh, pumpkin drops. And it's got really high base damage, and every time you hit something, it spawns a little flaming pumpkin off the side of the screen, which then comes onto the screen and uh, tracks towards any enemy it can. So if I run through, say, this gaggle of trees, um, it's probably getting pretty damn late. Can you do the command? Uh, you've got it ready, haven't you? No, it, uh, the well, pumpkin moon. Every time I stop using my knives, it's down to like 100 health. Okay, let me just give me one second to see if I can get somewhere. So, uh, time, um, there you go, time check at 8 o'clock. I was actually kind of worried about standing still there. And just pumpkins for everybody. Where are all these trees? Well, oh, there's all their fire. Oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of trees. 
Oh, have you walked through a tree swinging your horseman's blade? Right, sorry about that guys, um, might be a bit of an awkward edit there. I crashed, oh no, I was just about to heal. I crashed for like 30 seconds and uh, was kind of forced to stand still because uh, Windows decided it wanted to try and close my game. But I wasn't going to let it. I'm coming back over now, Metal. Oh, I've, I've taken out like, all those trees and then they all just respawned. <laughs> yeah, so my impression, it might actually be infinite. Which would be kind of cool, but also kind of suck. I mean, I was honestly hoping there was going to be one definitive, like, yeah, we beat this. Oh, that was I a bad it's place for me. Yeah, we survived. True. That's the whole idea of it. What am I doing? I need... This weapon. There we go. Right, I'm back in the game now. It was very hard for me to try and get health with all this stuff around. Yeah, if you go further on to where the mountain is, there's loads of hearts. Yeah, they're what I used to get myself up. And the pumpkin's coming along again. Oh man, these guys are just getting wrecked. How about I don't crash it? Oh! I think I know why I crashed. Why? Uh, too many pumpkins. Like, spawning from my horseman blade. I was standing in the middle of, like, an entire gang of trees and just swinging my blade while standing still. Also, my inventory is full of drops. So fine. Well, you know what? We have the trophies to give us a rough idea of how well we did in the final wave. And that's going to be very interesting to see. I reckon we can break a hundred. I mean, I've already got like thirty. Yeah, can you come take some aggro? Can yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to take the aggro of the uh, pumpkins, but I'd need to health sack for a little second. Yeah, I need to dump sack out my then. Ah. Got that bloody pet spider shit. Yeah, I've so got that as I well. Hate the fact that they this one's a buff game. It is bullshit, basically. I'm just gonna hover above the trees and bait them for health. That is a lot of trees. We have an entire orchard of those trees. Uh, another pump, uh, horseman blade just dropped in. Nice. I have three of them. I have no idea how many I have. Let's just focus on killing stuff. It seems, are we all trees right now? No, I have four pumpkins. Ah. Right, I'm going to try and bait that fire away from you. Yeah, what because... the hell does that uh, pet spider thing look like? Um, it is a buff without a timer. No, I mean the... Uh, oh, white... it's a big white egg. And they don't stack, so yeah. you'll probably have multiple of them. Also, don't forget the splinterlings. They're the pets as well. Them. No, but you can get them. Man, you know, this isn't even that hard. It's not. Just flail, 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 flail. It is nice. just a, it's just a case of flail and avoid. And yeah, sometimes you need some knives. Because you can't quite get down there to uh, heal up. Also, the floor is absolutely covered in splintering items. This could be very interesting. I say that we um, we just let this one night run its course and then see what we get. And that'll be roughly two nights, maybe a little less, worth of uh, fighting. Oh, bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. I love these bubbles so much I feel like Michael Jackson. So that was a bad joke. But you still laugh. I did. Hey, you're pulling out the old chlorified bullets, I see. Yeah, My screen is full of numbers. I know how that goes. I actually need to try and get some healing. Yeah, but I'm at the point where if I don't get healing first, I can't kamikaze it to get hearts. There we go. Now, give me some help. Dude, you know we've got like a hundred necromantic scrolls. Yeah. 
probably the same amount of Raven stuff as well. Yeah, and uh, candy corn rifles and stuff. Hey pumpkin, eat your own sword. Uh, do not want to fall there. Yeah, my sound is starting to drop out on the enemies. <laughs> nice. I think the game's just like, you know what? No, fuck you. So we took the piss out of the game too much, and now it's shooting up the school. Oh, here's another four pumpkins coming. Ah, this is actually kind of stressful, but relaxing at the same time. Yeah. It's stressful because at like any second you could just, you know, lose all your health. Yeah. You have to be constantly careful, but it's really relaxing to see all these numbers come off. And there's so many items on the floor, I'm actually lagging a little, which is kind of fun. Oh, buff. Yeah, I think what I said earlier about it not using buffs you already got is actually true. Because I have a two minute echo buff. Uh, I think it does I've for been, some stuff. I've been buffing when I run out and run low on stuff. Maybe flasks are different from potions, who knows? I just wish there was a way to filter your inventory so you never picked up certain items. Right, I just killed a pumpkin and he dropped uh, four different items, I think. It's kind of hard to count with this fire. Don't spawn too many of those. If you crash me, I'll never forgive you. It's okay when I crash me. It's like the N-word. They can say it. We can't, apparently. Hey, we invented it. <laughs> oh, God, really? You know you just said that to the internet, right? Yeah. This isn't I'm sure the internet chance. would agree with me. Oh, I think we've hit, day we've hit daytime. I still have pumpkins. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, i still got bosses spawning. Yeah, I just pressed buff, I only have 33 seconds of welfare. Interesting. So maybe they have done something about not yeah. wasting potions. Maybe it was in a ghost up there. Maybe. Or even just a, um, you know, like a point, point, point update. Yeah. Like a, a bug fix. Hello, trees. Also, I think the lag is, uh, because I'm hosting the server, I think the lag is causing everything to track slightly slower. So they're like aiming at us slower. So it's actually making stuff easier. Oh no, Dominique was slain. Oh no. I, I assume that was one of my NPCs. Ah, it's daytime. We can still try and kill some trees. Wow. Hang on, hang on. I'm trying, I'm trying to kill these trees. I picked up three horsemen blades. I can see two here. There we go. Right, now, I'm going to dump some shit out of my inventory, like spider eggs and spider eggs and spider eggs and cursed saplings. I picked up 47 pumpkin trophies. Uh, I picked up 63 morning wood and 17 pumpkins. Uh, what are we choking, uh, yeah, running on the floor? Yeah. There is so much stuff. There's, like, there's two horseman blades right there. Yeah, I'm picking up and there's weapons everywhere as well. Like there's probably some over at the house. Yeah. I'm gonna go and sell some stuff. So no, basically, put it all in a chest, in one singular chest. Why? Just to see the loot. Oh really? Why not? We're not gonna be able to fit all this in one chest. <laughs> I'll grab two ice chests. This is never gonna fit in one chest. I guarantee fucking to you that. I mean, there's probably loot like randomly over here by the house. Mm, actually not, when me and Seraph did it there was uh, some random loot but then he got stunlocked in the house and I started trying to help him which did not end up well right on top of the bitch arena yep. on top of which there is a bunch of items <laughs> right um yeah just dump it all in Seventy-two morning wood trophies, dude. Seventy-two. Normal. 
Normal. Legendary. Normal. Legendary. Heavy. Dangerous. I picked up two legendaries. Legendary what? Awesome blades. Seriously? Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> Steak launcher and a raven staff. Are you putting all yours in one chest? I'm putting all mine in the other. Oh my god, have you looked down at the ground? Yeah, my inventory is full again and I've just walked across like 10 feet. Yeah. This is actually ridiculous. Uh, I might not end up counting the uh, cursed saplings. Although they do sell for quite a bit, so I should probably keep hold of them. So many spooky hooks. Yeah, I know, I've got like six in my chest. Yeah, we're probably going to need more than two chests. It's a possibility. It is a very high possibility. It is a Snoop Dogg high possibility. Like it's high. so... yeah, it... damn, that's high. I wonder how spooky wood we got. Uh, well, my chest is full. Necromantic scrolls, and full again. Okay, um, I'm gonna take the cursed saplings and sell them just because I don't care about those. Same as the spooky hooks. So I'm going to dump those out of my chest. Oh, don't walk towards me. I'm gonna dump those out of my chest so that I can... Sell them. I've also got a shitload of raven staffs and bat scepters. Like this is this is retarded. You have a text file. I know. Not anymore, I don't. Yar matey. Buy me shit. Yar blar hardar. Bless him. His first stroke. <laughs> oh wow, these deadly candy corn rifles are worth 30 gold. Really? Yeah. Nice. And the demonic steak launcher I've got is worth 33. Nice. Deadly steak launcher. A normal steak launcher is worth yeah, 15. Throw, throw all your. Uh... My chest is full. Yeah, I was going to say throw all your money away and see how much money we make from selling all the shit. Oh, the only money I've got is the money that I got from the wave. I yeah. started with nothing. Nice. Yeah. And right now I have two and a half plat. A little bit more, in fact. Alright, I'm coming back over. I'm gonna pick up even more loot. Like, goddamn, I play Borderlands and I think this is an excessive amount of loot. Know what I mean? Yeah. There's a lot of loot. There certainly is, sir. There certainly is. Ha! My loot first. And did you fill up your inventory? Yes. So did I. And there's still another fucking spider egg up here. Yeah, it's one I threw out. So is that everything? Yeah. Right, so that was what? Around four chests worth? Yep. We got 65 pumpkins and 72 morningwood trophies. Fuck the, the horseman's blades. Yeah. So, uh, get out of that chest, there we go. Yeah, and I've already sold off like an inventory worth of stuff. And holy fuck. This is ridiculous. Is there anything you want to keep hold of? Uh, I'm keeping a spare legendary horseman blade. I have... Keep the spooky one as well. Actually, yeah, if there's a spare horseman's blade ledge kicking around, I'm going to get in this chest. Ah, there you go. Uh, here, have a spooky hook. <laughs> Now I'm going to go and sell stuff. Even as I just took it out of the chest. What? That wasn't made. Oh no. You realise that spooky hook was one of about a bajillion I yeah, picked I have up. Yeah, a bajillion on me. Yeah, so do I. Uh, I'm missing a potion set here. Regen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, no, that's all there. Cool. Uh, also, this pirate is going to be yeah. like. What? I've used one pumpkin pie, one ipple, four rage, sucky, wrath, and then three of the rest. I used a lot more, but that was because, wow, these legendary pumpkin blades, the uh, horseman's blade, 
aren't worth as much as a half decent steak launcher. Really? Yeah. Or a half decent candy corn rifle. You know what? There's an egg sitting in my uh, in my delete bin. I might as well sell it. <laughs> extra two gold. I mean, shit. Yeah, that's just an extra one holding space, really, isn't it? Yeah. Also, I picked up over a stack of candy corn. Like, I think I picked up about fifteen hundred candy corn. And I mean, it's not exactly expensive, but when you've got a stack of it, it's quite a lot. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just going to make sure that there is nothing, no other loot sitting around. Because this stuff will just remain. That's the great thing about a server, the items only despawn uh, when you unload the world. Yeah. So you can spend an hour just standing there. Oh, you taking that chest, I see. So you're not going through picking out the most expensive stuff to sell. Oh, why don't you just um, loot all? Yeah, I literally just remembered that's a thing. Don't usually use that because shit. Yeah, I know what you mean, bro. I know what you mean. I don't think I've really ever used it. Selling all the pumpkin blades. Selling all the pumpkin blades. Don't sell the spooky wood, we can make some money off it later. Damn. All the monies. And we'll make one more pass and that should be enough to pick up everything left in the last chest. Yep. So how many trophies do you want? I would like to keep a stack of each. So yeah, I think that shows... Um, how well we work together as a team. Me and Seraph managed to get like 21 um, Morningwood trophy, uh, pumpkin trophies. Me and you managed to get like 60 or 70 pumpkin trophies. <laughs> that is amazingly insane. It's a shame I've still got like a shitload of uh, I've got 14 pumpkin medallions left. Because I think after that we are pretty much done with the pumpkin moon. Also, here's something nice. Uh, nine fairy dust sells for 22 gold. Nice. Eight spooky twigs sell for 20 gold. Uh, that murderous bat set to 14. Shit, son. That's a lot. Stack of candy corn sells for 10 yeah. silver. Wow, that really oh. doesn't sell for much. Ooh, trophies! Yay! Is that 30 of each? Oh, aren't you a sweetheart? Let me see what I've already got in here. 25 pumpkin trophies, one morning wood trophy. <laughs> now the question is, wood. have you sold everything? Yeah. How much money do you have? I only have 3 plat, or well, 3.8 plat on me, but I put away the money that I've got from picking up. I got less than a plat for doing the um, the fight. Yeah, I had 6 plat on me, but I remember taking a few plat when I was uh, reforging stuff. Yeah, I got less than 1 plat for the fight and I have 9 plat. <laughs> so we easily made 10 back that way. So yeah, this is actually like a fantastic way for me and you to grind money. Yeah. And you know what guys, I think that's going to have to do it for now. So um, consider this, the pumpkin moon, done. We are mm. done with the pumpkin moon. We're going to be moving on to something else which I've talked about before but haven't actually told you explicitly what it is. Next episode. And then the episode after that we've got something else to do. So, um... Yeah, Peace. but now, you can't steal my piece, you motherfucker. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Peace.